Hey guys, welcome back. Sticks to the Sticks here. Today we're going to talk about Real Madrid and Liverpool. Real Madrid, as you know, were beaten 2 0 away by Shakhtar Donetsk. They're now sit third in the Champions League. They lost last night. Liverpool won 1 0 against Ajax with a mistake by Onana. Let's talk about that, guys, and uh, you guys will be very interested to hear about what Zidane had to say after the game. So let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so Zinedine Zidane has come out and he said he is not going to leave Real Madrid after losing to Shakhtar Donetsk 2-0. They play um, Munchen Gladbach in their last game, uh, who are sitting first in the group. And if they beat them, uh, then there's a chance that they might go through um, uh, if uh, Shakhtar Donetsk lose their next game. So it's going to be uh, a, a very exciting kind of last game. Usually, uh, uh, teams like Real Madrid uh, wrap up the group uh, around this time. They, they, they normally beat the group and they, they finish top. So things aren't really going well for Real Madrid at the moment uh, and for Zidane. Um, Hazard is out again injured. Uh, Hazard has had a terrible time at Real Madrid since he signed for them. He hasn't been able to catch on uh, that bit of form that he had when he was at Chelsea. At Chelsea he was a legend, but now he's just unable to do the same thing as, uh, uh, at Real Madrid, which is quite strange because you would think that because La Liga is a slower kind of league, uh, he'll be able to influence games even more, but he's just he, there's he's just been unable to perform well. He hasn't been able to train well during preseason. Uh, there were newspaper reports uh, showing pictures of him looking overweight. Now that he's actually picked up a little bit of form, uh, he's gone out again and been injured. So it's not a good uh, kind of omen for Hazard and his time at uh, Real Madrid. Is, is a very turbulent one at the moment. It seems like Chelsea got the best years of Eden Hazard because he's not uh, doing his best at Real Madrid. So back to Zidane guys, he's come out and he said he ain't going nowhere. And man, this guy's achieved so much for Real Madrid. Uh, it's it's kind of surprising that anyone would even suggest that he would that he should leave. I don't think Zinedine Zidane should leave as he's achieved so much at Real Madrid and uh, coronavirus has made things very difficult for managers all over the world and it's not just uh, in Spain, you see it in England as well, Man managers struggling with the congested fixtures and no fans and uh, some say that it's an excuse and they're professionals but it is difficult, it's unprecedented times, no one's ever seen this kind of, of, of pandemic before. So, and also try to, to work through it in, in the football game. So it's quite a difficult time for every manager. He's done so much, guys. He's won 11 titles as a Real Madrid uh, manager, and not a lot of managers have done that. And he hasn't been at Real Madrid for that long. So I don't think that uh, he should go, uh, even if they don't win the league, uh, even though they're sitting fourth at the moment. If it's any consolation to you, Real Madrid fans, Barcelona are sitting seventh in the log right now. So. Are you sure you want to fire Let is it then? All right, let's talk about Liverpool, guys. Liverpool beat Ajax 1-0 thanks to a, a goal by uh, Curtis Jones. He played really well, guys. The goal was a bit of a lucky one. It was a mistake by Onana uh, who came out to catch it. And then for some reason, he realized that it was too high and he couldn't get there in time. Um, the kid was smart enough to get in behind him and, uh, and just tap in the goal for um, a 1-0 and to win the game like right at the end. So um, Liverpool push on again in the Champions League, not having that much of a great time in the Premier League. Um, and just to add more injury to uh, Liverpool, uh, Alisson is now out for two weeks. Uh, which means that their goalkeeper uh, issues will now continue. Um, Liverpool uh, obviously have qualified now for the Champions League. I think they'll finish top of the group, which is great for them. Um, and they will probably avoid teams like Bayern Munich, who are looking on fire as usual. They did draw against Atletico Madrid. Uh, the kid, Jao Felix, who is guys one of the most talented players I've ever seen in my lifetime. And Atletico Madrid, for me is the worst team he could be in but that's another that's a story for another video uh, liverpool are doing a really good guys at the moment in the champions league so well done to them in the league they face wolves next this is going to be a very very tricky game for them 
um, especially after how they played against Brighton. I think Brighton should have beat Liverpool, um, but uh, they were able to get a draw. Uh, Brighton were missing penalties, missing one-on-ones. Uh, Liverpool were very lucky to get a draw, in my opinion, and uh, they shouldn't complain as well about the VAR decision because a similar one uh, went their way last week um, when Salah got clipped in the identical way. So we'll talk about VAR uh, in a video, another video again. But uh, yeah, Liverpool, well done for finishing at top of the group in the Champions League. And yeah, on to, to face Wolves in the league. All right, guys. So thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, show me love as I show you love. It really helps guys when you subscribe and like and comment and do stuff like that. So thanks a lot. I'll see you guys again uh, very soon at halftime.